Hi guys, greetings. Welcome to Thematic Quality Board Station. My name is Trejes and today I talk about an important element of testing life cycle which is test or theory. So we'll start with the import, then we'll move on to the, how you can create test case and organize them into a testing, uh, you know, into theory. Along with some important feature for the data parameterization concerning the dynamic sorting and filter and then we we'll move on to the combined coverage and the exploratory testing part. So let's get started. In order to import, you just need to go to your Qmetry Jira instance. So this is one of my cloud instance where I have installed the Qmetry. I just need to click there and just need to click on this test management tab. So once you click that, you can able to access all your tab uh, from a single menu itself, like your test case, your test cycle, your test plan, as well as the test report from a single menu. So here you can see that this is very intuitive and, and the, you know, yet it provides seamless Jira experience. You just need to go to your project where you would like to import all your existing data and you need to go to this bulk operation. And once you click that, you can see this import test case menu. You just need to click that. And here you need to map your file or upload your file here. So I can click on select file or I can uh, navigate it to my file and drag and drop here. And once I'll do that, you can see that it's just added that. I can select the sheet which I would like to import. I can select the folder in which folder I would like to import all my test cases and everything. And here I can select the appropriate operations. Uh, so if there is and that what could, uh, you would like to be uh, imported as a new version, so you would like to ignore if you know some of the component label is not present into the system or you would like to create the new one. You just select the appropriate options, click on next, here you just need to map all your feed which is present into your Excel file against the field available on the geometry for Jira end. So let me map all the field called the summary, then the issue key, then the description, then the status, then the priority, then the assignee, reporter, estimated time, labels, component, sprint, fixed version, step summary, the test data, expected result, and just click on start import. So it will import all your data in Qmetry 4 Jira and once you are done that it will just give you and click on done. So here you can see that all your data are just imported right here within this particular folder. Now we will see how we can create a new test case into the system and organize those test cases in a folder based hierarchy along with the one of the important and the useful feature called the data parameterization versioning and the uh, dynamic sorting and filtering option. So in order to create a new test case, you just need to click on this particular plus test case icon and you need to follow the instructions. So first of all, you just need to define your summary or the descriptions or the standard field which uh, you would like to scope in uh, in terms of this particular test case. So I can define my summary or the standard field like priority, status, assignee, sprint, label, component, uh, fixed version, estimated time. If you have set any kind of custom field, you can also set uh, the value of the custom field from here and you can uh, set a number of custom fields via our configuration menu in Qmetry for Jira. And then you can define all these tabs, all the data parameterizations right here and you can attach anything right here on the test case level. So let me just go back and open one of my uh, particular test case which I would like to, uh, you know, give you and use as a reference. So here you can see that this is one of my login data parameterization example test case, which I have already scoped in with the different detail, the custom field and under step, you can see that you can able to create a new step for this particular test case in terms of the step summary, the test data, expected result, you can leverage the rich, uh, you know, formatting options provided by the Qmetry. You can do or touch anything on the test step level. You 
can uh, clone your test step and the important feature which I would like to highlight is the data parameterization. So we do test a certain functionality based on the data set itself. So you in, in order to you know uh, test uh, the uh, test case or anything or any functionality you need to set your data grid right here. So to define this variable, you just need to go to the Qmetry and define first of all your variable and the data set. And then you just need to come on the test case and use those variable under the parameter sections. So I have used first of all my variable called the, uh, you know, uh, username. I can click on this add column and select my variable. And under that I can select the data which I would like to use from that particular variable. And second option I have selected as a password. So what I would like to do, I need to test my login functionality uh, based on this particular data set. And this will be replaced uh, directly under your test cycle with this particular value. So you can test all this data. It will give you a six group options and you can test all this username and password combination. So this is very important feature. You can leverage in terms of the authoring purpose and now under attachment you can do attach anything. So I have just attached one of the uh, sample image or the wireframe which I would like to highlight, right? And then under execution you can see the entire execution history of this entire test case. Under which test cycle it was executed, what was the execution result, what was the environment and uh, you can see all the who executed then on which date in time, what was the version and if there is any defect link with that particular test case you can see all those data right here. And you can also do and create a new version for your test case. So if you would like to change anything on your test case level and come up with the new version, you can just, uh, you know, create the new version and you can also able to uh, refer the previous version. So let's, uh, you know, refer the version one where you can see that my version V1, it's executed multiple times into a different test cycle and this is the, you know, uh, execution train going on, on on a different platform on a different build. And we have the entire story coverage. So if I would like to uh, figure out that if my test case is linked or associated with uh, how many stories or what kind of those story, you can see this particular sections and you will come to know that entire, entire traceability along with your story or the requirement. At the same time, you can go here and link any of your story residing in any of your JIRAS projects. So it's not always necessary. You can link your, uh, uh, you know, the story which belongs from the same project. You can link any of your story story residing in any of your JIRA instance. So let me go to the uh, flight reservation and need to select this particular, uh, you know, create vendor portal and just submit. So now this particular test case is just going to, uh, you know, associated with this particular story. And then you can do comment here and collaborate with your teammates and here you can see the entire audit logs in terms of this particular test case, who did it, what kind of the operation on which date in time. And this is sometimes really uh, help you in terms of the compliance point of view or to, you know, uh, figure out if something goes wrong, what went wrong on which date in time and who did what kind of the thing. Now let me move back to the test case. So here, once you created your test case, it will be added to your folder and this the entire test case grid will help you to see the overall insight about your test case on the screen itself. And on the left side, you can see that you can select your project and create your folder tree structure. So this is the organization mechanism which we provide wherein you can create the entire folder tree structure based on your need or the requirement and organize your set of test cases into a different folder. It could be based on different testing methods methodology, different testing module or the, uh, you know, the feature and the functionality which you have provided. So I have created my folder structure based on my need. You can create your own and organize your set of test cases into a different folder. So let's consider a regression related test cases which I would like to segregate and then I would like to directly execute them. So what you can do, you can directly select those test cases and perform a bulk operations. You can add to your existing test cycle. Uh, you can directly associate uh, uh, those test cases with your story or you can also perform a bulk update. 
and the thing is which I would like to explain about uh, one of the reporting expert you can consider or the things which you would like to see the overall progress right here that you know what kind of the, those test cases are there what kind of the status are there this entire grid is very dynamic you can set this column and the entire view based on your need so we do provide the dynamic sorting and the filtering option wherein you will decide what kind of the column you would like to see on the screen and what will be the priority of those columns. At the same time, you can do a filtering as well, wherein you will decide what kind of the uh, you know filtering you would like to apply and have those data, and you can also perform a bulk operations. So once you click there, you can see those filter. You can also save this uh, filter for your later and uh, stage use, and you can uh, filter all accordingly. So this is all about the entire you know uh, test case creations, organizations, and the entire. Uh, the functionality which you can leverage in terms of the effective test authoring purpose. So now we will see the requirement and its traceability, see the requirement coverage and its traceability. So you just need to open any of your story or the requirement or the task which you are considering as a one of your to-do list and you just need to go to that detail page of that particular story and you can see this test case and exclusion criteria right here so once you uh, you know get this section you can see that all the test cases associated with this particular story or the requirement so in order to uh, you know organize a, a test case with this particular story or a link that particular test case is this particular story you just need to go to this setting and click on reuse test cases wherein you can search for any of your test cases in deciding in any of your project so here you can see that i can go there and link any of my uh, test cases with this particular story so let's assume that i would like to go to my import export project and would like to search for the test cases here uh, and click on this submit button so those all the test cases associated with this particular story and at the same time this entire view is also a configurable based on your need you will decide what kind of the column you would like to see on the screen and its priority and then on here itself you can also see the entire traceability of this particular test case executions into a, a different uh, test cycle their execution result their environment who executed that on which date in time all the entire traceability and you can also add this entire story or all the test cases which is associated with this particular uh, test cases directly to your uh, cycle you just need to click on this add test case cycle uh, click on to add test case cycle and you can also create a new test case from your story page itself that will be directly associated to this particular story so this is uh, you know one of the very important feature uh, you are getting on your story page wherein you can create new test cases reuse your existing test cases and directly add those test cases into your cycle Here, uh, in order to create a test case with exploratory testing, you just need to go to the Qemetry and click on this exploratory testing menu. And here, you need to select the project under which uh, project you would like to record your action. So basically, exploratory testing functionality will help you to record your action and convert your actions as a test case. And then you need to download this Chrome extension. You just need to click that, and once you download, you can see that extension right inside your Chrome browser. So now uh, let's consider the one of the e-commerce website called the Amazon.com, and I would like to create a test case for the checkout functionality of the Amazon.com. So I can go to my exploratory testing plugin in my Chrome browser. I can log in with my credentials where I need to define my URL, the username, and the API token, and hit on this login button. And once I'll do that, I can uh, mention the sessions and select the project under which I would like to create a session. So let's consider Amazon checkout test case, which I would like to create from my action and click on start recording. And now you need to follow the series of steps which you can uh, follow in order to check out. So let's uh, assume that I would like to search for the mobile called the Samsung S10 
and then I will get a couple of lists right here. So I am interested in this particular option called here. I just click that and I again click on add to cart. I can click on proceed to checkout. No thanks. And here I can also mention some of the username or any kind of username. And I would like to validate this error by mentioning a wrong username. I do a assertion right here. I can stop the assertion. I can also record my voice memo and I can stop the session. So uh, in order to check out, I have followed certain steps and that all the actions has been recorded right inside your exploited testing menu, right inside your Jira ecosystem and you just need to come here and do a refresh. So here you can see that the session is just gonna create it uh, under my project. This is Amazon checkout and you can see all the uh, you know step which you have performed in terms of the uh, screen point of view then under document you can see all the information has been arranged in terms of the test case format so you have this particular step summary the test data expected result all those details and you just need to hit this create test case button where you can see that the test case is just going to create it successfully right inside your uh, system, Qemetry test management system. And this is the step which you have performed. And all the attachment right un under the step attachment option. So this is the power of exploratory testing uh, which will help you to create the test case right with the your action itself. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you really like all the powerful functionality offered by Documentary for Jira in terms of the authoring. And if you would like to explore Documentary for Jira, you can scan this QR code and download Documentary for Jira from the Atlassian Marketplace. You can reach out to us on the number, which is 408-833-6187. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.